American Sarah Ashton Cyrilla came back to the U.S. for the first time after spending nine and a half months in Ukraine. Ashton Cyrilla, a transgender woman and former journalist, originally headed to Ukraine to report on Russia's invasion. She recalled being nervous crossing the Ukrainian border as a transgender woman. Because there were problems with my paperwork regarding my gender transition. And also, I wasn't certain how Ukrainians would deal with having a transgender reporter reporting from the country during war. Ashton Cyrilla says her experience in Ukraine changed her views on how a society can perceive the LGBTQ community. From the first day when I entered, when I had my passport stamped, I found Ukraine to be welcoming in a very unique way. It's not a question of tolerance. It's not a question of identity. What it is is that Ukraine is a nation that appreciates liberty and freedom for all people. And that allowed me to work at an ever higher efficiency as a writer and now as a soldier due to the fact that my gender identity is a non-issue. A June analysis published by the U.S. Institute of Peace says while Ukraine has made progress on LGBTQ rights, such as welcoming gay people into its armed forces, more work is needed. Studies indicate attitudes in Ukraine are changing. A 2019 Pew survey in Ukraine said 69% of those polled said homosexuality should not be accepted by society, while 14% said it should be. Three years later, in May 2022, a survey by the Kyiv International Institute of Sociology reported that 64% of respondents said LGBTQ citizens in Ukraine should have equal rights. 26% disagreed. In March, Ashton Cyrilla made it to Haki, covering the city and the region for the LGBTQ Nation publication and her Twitter and Substack. But under President Zelensky and the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, what I found is I had more freedom as a reporter in Ukraine under martial law than I would trying to even film the police in the United States. After seeing the war firsthand, Ashton Cyrilla applied to join Ukraine's armed forces. And then finally, day after day after day of being attacked, made the war personal for me. And due to this, I understood what more could I do? How could I do more in this fight for liberty on behalf of Ukraine than actually be willing to go to the front, not just as a journalist, not just as a civilian working for the Ukrainian government, but as a soldier myself. Ashton Cyrilla has a medical background and was offered work in a medical unit. She was sent to Triple C training, a NATO standard medical training course for combat medics, which she passed. She is now waiting to be sent to the front lines as a military medic. The front lines are a hellacious place. Line zero is a hellacious place. I've been there when ambulances have been destroyed. The U.S. Congress passed nearly $45 billion in additional aid for Ukraine, part of a $1.7 trillion spending bill. It now goes to President Joe Biden, who will sign it into law. Ashton Cyrilla says Ukraine has already won by showing its bravery and Russia's military impotence. But she hopes the U.S. will continue to help Ukraine reach victory. Tetyana Voroshko, VOA News, Washington.